Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Are you or your business struggling with maintaining good documentation, organizing your or your IT or business documentation? Well, we have a solution for today on this video and it's called Bookstack. And I'm gonna show you how Bookstack is organized and we'll go through a demo and maybe you can see if at the end of that, if it's something you're interested in. So let's take a look. All right, here is the Bookstack website. And we'll start at the top here. Basically, Bookstack, it's uh, free and open source. It's a wiki software and has lots of features here. It's configurable. It has built in diagrams.net. So if you're needing to build uh, organizational diagrams or network diagrams or anything like that, then it builds that in there. And that's a great solution for that. Um, it has a markdown editor. So if you're, you're uh, into the markdown and you prefer to write your stuff, documentation in markdown, it's easy to do it here, and that's what we do on some of our stuff. Always important, light and dark mode. It has light and dark mode, multi-factor authentication, multilingual capabilities, and that's just here on the feature page. So, and then they have some sponsors that, that do this, and not, you notice that diagram.net is one of those sponsors, so that's probably why they're integrated well in there, but uh, I really like this. Here we're going to load some pages. There's a page view, and... So if you can just scroll through the website, there's lots of good stuff here. Um, but one of the things I want to talk about is how it's organized. So Bookstack is organized in what we call, um, what you would be familiar with is if you had a library. You know, so you had a shelf, you got books, and in those books you've got pages and chapters. And so that's how it's organized. So you see simple interface, that's right here. Books, chapters, pages. It's easy to host, you can, you know, you can pop up the, VPS on DigitalOcean or or Azure or Amazon or anywhere like that for just a few few dollars a month if you want to put it in there or you can host it internally. Um, so it just you know is a VM a Linux VM and uh, or you can do it in Docker. So but without further ado, let's take a look at the actual platform. Let's look at a demo page. So they have a demo set up. You can log in and play with this right now on your own if you want to take a look at this. So. So let's click on the shelves. So first of all, shelves, books, pages, and chapters and books, right? That's all you got to remember. So here, here are shelves, and you can make a shelf pretty straightforward. Boom, you write the name of the shelf, your description of the shelf, maybe it's knowledge base articles, IT department, HR documents. You look at look at all this stuff that they've got in here. And this is this is in this demo, so there's lots of stuff in here. All right, so Let's, look, let's click on this internal departments here. So internal departments, they got an accounting department, IT department. You can make these anything you want. These are books inside these shelves. So let's click on IT department. So inside that book of the IT department are pages. And so here's a page. Remember onboarding guide, right? Or IT holiday event. These are things that are just in here right now. When you log into this demo page, it could be anything else different. But so say you're going to create yourself a new page or a new document. So you got pages, chapters. Um, so let's first of all, let's just edit this guy right here, right? So you click on edit and boom. So you got a WYSIWYG editor you can use. If you go up here, you can switch between the markdown, markdown editors or the WYSIWYG depending on what you need. And I have found that you can take and copy and paste Word documents in here pretty pretty darn effectively without problems. So here it is. Um, I'm not gonna go through how to use the editor. It's pretty straightforward. Um, you have a change log. Um, yeah, you click update with new policy, save the page, right? Now, this is one of the things I like about this also is it has a really good change management system so that you can see what the revisions were, when the revisions happened, who did the revisions, and all that stuff. So that's very important if you have change management um, requirements in your organization. So we're gonna look at that real quick over here, click on revisions, and you can see um, these people here, and, and like I said, these are random people that uh, logged in the system. On this demo and these are the the changes so you can you can go and see here this is this is me just a few minutes ago um well you can take a look at the changes right 
changes. Boom. See how that worked? And let's just look at the changes. Now, let me go actually make a change to this document. And that way you can see. So I'm going to just delete this first paragraph, right? Delete the first paragraph. Enter in. This is a new first. And then we're going to save this page, right? All right, now let's go look at revisions. So notice it says four revisions now. And then last updated zero seconds ago by admin. Click on permissions and revisions. What is it? So here we go. Remember I'm going uh, 15 seconds ago. Let's look at the changes. See how it does this? Oh, look at that. Red and green, just like you would see in like a git diff or something like that. So this is great. So you can see what actually changes happened. Um, anyway, so back to that. So this is this is a, a page. Um, but you can add images, uh, you can add other documents, things like that to this. Um, you can go and add. So here, here is the book. And maybe you want to add a chapter. And the chapter is procedures and work instructions. And then you can say create a new page or you can sort current pages. So the current pages is that we'll put this IT holiday in there maybe. And you see how that hierarchy is set up like that? Save that. Now when you go to IT department, you see procedures, there's one page in there. Depending on how you want to organize these things, you can set them up. Let's go back out of internal departments and look at some of these other ones. So accountants, see here's one. Pension providers where someone has put some stuff in here. Sales department, things like that. Marketing department, shelves. So adding a new shelf, pretty straightforward, boom. Uh, the other thing you can do is tags. One IT department, a new holiday page. And let's add a tag to it, right? Edit. You get tags right here. Tag name is level A and then save page. So now that has a tag associated with it. So here's the other cool thing about this. Um, the search is really great in this. So if you go to the home page and, you, and, and you, you got everything here, you can search for um, see how it does that. Boom, boom, boom. Um, maybe let's let's. So right now, you don't, nothing really comes in as passwords, right? So let's go and into the admin or the IT department and let's go to this holiday party event and let's edit this and say, we're gonna say passwords must be 12. In the link, right? So I just pop that in there, right? So now you go back here to this main page or anywhere you can just say passwords. Now, right there, passwords. So let's click on that and it takes you right to it. So it's really good for searching that. Um, one other thing that's really cool is export. So you can export this as a web page, PDF, plain text file, mark file, mark down, or portable zip file. So let's take a look at the PDF. Boom, and it shows you revisions and when those happen. So if you're, if you're wanting to maybe maintain your documentation internally, and then you've got like a read-only place where the uh, end users look at this stuff that you want to put it, put it out as PDFs, you can do that and it'll have the revisions and all that good stuff. And then if you wanted an editable one that is locked down just for certain people to see that in an edit, you can do that, do that in books Bookstack itself. That's Bookstack. Uh, let me know if you're interested in seeing a how to install and set this up. We're, we're, we're dog fooding it internally, and I've been looking at this really happy with it. My people are really happy with it. So I wanted to share share some of that and uh, let, let people uh, know about this great product that's out there. Um, they're not sponsoring me or anything like that. I, I found this product on my own and, and discovered covered it and decided that it was a really good fit for us. So we'll see you next time.